The ocean, vast and enigmatic, keeps its secrets hidden in the abyssal depths. But what would you encounter if you embarked on a journey to the deepest point on Earth, the Mariana Trench, 11,000 meters below sea level? Get ready to meet bizarre creatures, face extreme conditions, and uncover the mysteries of the ocean's abyss. We begin our journey in the epipelagic zone, the uppermost layer of the ocean that extends to about 200 meters in depth. Here, sunlight fully penetrates the waters, allowing for intense biological activity. In this zone, we find a vast array of species, from colorful coral reefs to larger animals like the majestic orcas. These incredible mammals known for their intelligence and hunting skills can dive as deep as 150 meters in search of prey. They swim in social groups called pods, where they communicate and coordinate their activities as a family. At 40 meters deep, we reach the limits of recreational divers, where the sunlight is still strong and marine life remains vibrant. However, the water pressure at this depth is significantly higher than at the surface. Without proper equipment, descending further can pose serious health risks. This is the zone where most human activities in the ocean take place. In addition to diving, fishing boats frequent these nutrient-rich waters, taking advantage of the abundance of fish and other marine creatures. Coral reefs, often referred to as the rainforests of the sea, are home to thousands of species and play a crucial role in the ocean's ecosystem. As we descend, the sunlight begins to weaken, signaling the end of the epipelagic zone and the start of a journey into the ocean's deeper, more mysterious regions. We now enter the mesopelagic zone, also known as the twilight zone. Here, between 200 and 1,000 meters deep, sunlight barely penetrates, creating a twilight environment that gradually transforms into complete darkness as we descend. Despite the lack of light, marine life in this region is incredibly diverse and well adapted to extreme conditions. In this enigmatic realm, we encounter fascinating creatures like the giant oarfish which can grow up to an impressive 11 meters in length and is often associated with legends of sea monsters. The Japanese spider crab is another example of extreme adaptation, with legs that can extend over 3 meters, making it the largest arthropod in the world. At 300 meters, commercial divers face enormous challenges as they carry out critical tasks such as maintaining oil platforms and submerged pipelines. The water pressure at this depth is 30 times greater than at the surface, equivalent to bearing the weight of 45 tons on their shoulders. These professionals rely on cutting-edge technology to withstand these extreme conditions and complete their missions. As we continue our descent, the environment becomes increasingly inhospitable to human life. Yet surprisingly, many forms of marine life thrive here. Bioluminescent fish and oddly shaped creatures roam the dark, using their own light to attract prey or confuse predators. This is the last zone where traces of sunlight can be found before we venture into complete darkness. We now plunge deeper into the mysterious Bathyapause zone, also known as the Midnight Zone. In this layer, sunlight is entirely absent. Temperatures plummet and pressure becomes crushing, making this environment one of the most inhospitable on the planet. However, the creatures that inhabit these depths are true masterpieces of evolution, adapted to survive in conditions that border on the unimaginable. Among these mysterious inhabitants is the black dragonfish, a feared predator of these waters. It uses its bioluminescent antennae as a lure, softly glowing in the darkness to attract curious prey. When they venture too close, they are devoured in the blink of an eye. This ability to generate its own light, known as bioluminescence, is a common adaptation among the inhabitants of this zone, utilized both for hunting and confusing predators. Here we also find the enigmatic vampire squid, an alien-looking creature that uses its long tentacles, covered in photophores, to create flashes of light, disorienting any threats. The viperfish, with its mouthful of sharp teeth, hunts in the silent depths, adapted to endure colossal pressures and complete darkness. For humans, these depths pose an almost insurmountable challenge. 
Exploration of the bathypause zone is only possible through specialized submarines and underwater drones, equipped with cutting edge technology to withstand extreme pressure, which here exceeds 400 times that at the surface. Few machines have ventured this deep and even fewer humans have dared to explore such depths. Navigating through this nearly impenetrable darkness, we approach the next layer, where the environment grows even more hostile. What lies ahead is beyond the comprehension of most living beings on Earth. Welcome to the Abyssal Zone, also known as the true abyss of the ocean. Here the pressure is crushing 400 times greater than at the surface. Temperatures hover dangerously close to freezing, creating an environment almost inhospitable to life as we know it. Even so, life persists. Creatures like the fascinating Dumbo octopus with its ear-like fins glide gracefully through the depths, while the enigmatic sea cucumber crawls along the ocean floor, feeding on organic debris that falls from the upper layers of the ocean, acting as a natural cleaner. In this seemingly desolate expanse, the spectacle of nature continues. Here at over 1,200 meters deep, we find the underwater volcano West Mata, one of the deepest ever documented. Filmed for the first time in 2009, its eruption is a powerful reminder that even in the most remote depths of Earth, the planet continues to shape and transform its environment. Near these volcanoes and hydrothermal fissures, life flourishes in astonishing ways. Giant tube worms, which can reach lengths of three meters, and blind shrimp are found around these heat sources, where chemosynthetic bacteria convert minerals into energy, sustaining entire ecosystems in the dark depths. The abyssal zone is so hostile that only machines specifically designed to withstand extreme pressures can explore these depths. Remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, collect samples and capture images of worlds that few humans have seen with their own eyes revealing new secrets each time they descend into the ocean's depths. Yet our dive is far from finished. Below us, the ocean becomes even deeper as we approach the planet's most extreme regions, the Hadopelagic Zone. Finally, we arrive at the mysterious Hadal Zone, the deepest and least explored region of the ocean, extending from 6,000 to 11,000 meters deep. Here, the extreme conditions make life rare, but where it exists, it demonstrates an incredible capacity for adaptation. Creatures such as microbes, shrimp, and sea cucumbers survive where few others could. These adapted organisms inhabit a world of total darkness and endure crushing pressures that could easily destroy an unprotected human. In fact, the pressure here is over 1,000 times greater than at the surface. These beings thrive on the organic remnants that fall from the upper layers of the ocean or in areas with hydrothermal vents where superheated water carries essential minerals for life. What makes this region so fascinating is how much there is still to discover. The Hadal Zone is one of the least studied places on the planet with vast areas completely unexplored, challenging scientists to better understand life in these extreme environments. And finally, we arrive at Challenger Deep, the deepest point on Earth, located in the Mariana Trench. At an impressive depth of 10,928 meters, the pressure here is equivalent to the weight of a car resting on your fingernail. Few people have made it this far. Among them is filmmaker James Cameron, who in 2012 piloted a submersible solo to the bottom of the trench, a true feat of human exploration. The Mariana Trench is one of the most mysterious and unexplored places on Earth. Even with all the technology available, we are only just beginning to understand the secrets that these abyssal depths hold. Who knows what else awaits at the bottom of our oceans? If you enjoyed this journey to the ocean's depths, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss more incredible videos like this one.